Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're going to take a closer look at the Newton's equation of gravity. Now it's one of the most famous equations. Almost everybody, of course, knows this equation. And this is how we typically see it, that the force is equal to g, the gravitational constant, times the product of the two masses divided by the distance between the two objects squared, where g is defined as 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 newtons meter squared per kilogram squared. But we can look at it differently in terms of vector quantities. So imagine that we have the sun or a star at the center with a large mass m and a smaller planet with a small mass m some distance away in three-dimensional space. The position vector from the sun to the planet is known as r and so that's indicated as the position vector and notice that if we div divide the position vector by its own magnitude we get the unit vector pointing in that same direction. But now notice that if we express the gravitational force in terms of a vector, that force is now pointing towards the star. Relative to the planet, the force on the planet is towards the star. Notice that it's in the opposite direction as the position vector r or the unit vector r. Now, if we think about the unit vector r as being the position vector divided by its magnitude, which could also be written as the position vector by its magnitude this way, then, if we go over here and we, we write the universal gravitational equation as a vector quantity, notice we now have the force as a vector is equal to negative gmm over r squared times the unit vector r. Notice the negative sign simply indicates that it's in the opposite direction. It's towards the star instead of away from the star. And then, if we substitute, if we now write r unit vector as being r divided by r like this, then we can substitute this by this quantity right here. And notice what happens now is we end up with an r cube in the denominator and the r vector there. Sometimes this causes confusion because you say, well, how do we get an r cube in the denominator? It's because the position vector is used rather than the unit vector. If the unit vector is used, you write it like this. With the position vector, you, you write it like that, just to clarify things. And finally, we know that it's always going to point towards the star, or in this case, in our solar system, towards the sun. And therefore, this force, the gravitational force, is called a central force. The reason why I want to spend some time on this is because this is how we typically utilize the gravitational equation in vector form. We have to realize it's in the negative direction and realize that sometimes we end up with an r cube in the denominator and nobody should panic because then right away we can realize we're using the position vector rather than the unit vector and that is how it's used. Correct, so that's what we have over here. Yeah. yeah, so you can write it like that. Mm -hmm. That is correct. So sometimes you just kind of have to mull through it to get a better feel for it. 